Hello. I just thought I'd do a little video today to show you my final edition travel art kit. I put this one together a while ago and I really love it and I've been using it. But for a few reasons, I've decided I need to go lighter. And so you can see these are all the things which I'm leaving behind uh, it, that are in this, that were in this kit. So a couple of pens, um, a, thinner pen, a thinner paintbrush, an extra travel brush, quite a lot of pencils. You can see I've just picked out a few. All of my Tombows and a Pritt stick. So that those aren't coming with me. We've looked at the latest weather forecast for where we're going and it's actually changed quite a lot and we're forecast quite a bit of snow and my visions of sitting at the side of the path on the mountain doing nice paintings has kind of altered somewhat and I think it's sensible if I travel lighter and I think it's quite possible I won't have as much opportunity for doing art as I kind of previously imagined. So this is, this is what I've gone for. It's quite a bit thinner than my original case and lighter because it doesn't have all the sleeves inside. This is just a padded tablet neoprene type case from Amazon. I'll link to it below if you're interested. And this is what I've finally decided on. The other thing I like about this one over the black case is that I, I couldn't fit my sketchbook in this setup either. So, well, I was going to take two sketchbooks. The two sketchbooks were going to be in addition to this as well. Whereas I've got everything I need in here. The only thing I don't have in here is water. And that's because I'm going to be carrying water with me in my rucksack. So that doesn't need to be included. Okay, so in this main compartment, I've got my A5 C White's sketchbook. I planned on taking this from the beginning. Uh, I like it because it's got hardback, it's watercolour paper and it hasn't got the thickest paper. It's not like the Etcher sketchbook that's got quite um, bulky paper. Um, it's relatively slim and I'm happy enough with the paper in it. And then the other thing I've got in this section is this is my water container. <laughs> it's got bear on it. So that's my water pot. And I, it can, I've used it, I've tried it out already and actually I can have it just as a smaller water pot at any height I want really. This was, I think this was one of the, oops, let me fold it down properly. This was one of the most slimline, just a camping cup that I could find. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. And it also comes with a lid. So if I've just, you know, if it's still wet from having used it, I can put the lid on and it's not gonna get the rest of my travel kit wet. And I guess at a push, I could even use that as a mixing um, palette. So yeah, that's my water container. Then the, other, the last thing I've got in the main section, the Karen Dash. I've managed to ditch most of my colour pencils and I did it in favour of the Neo Colour 2s. I've got all quite landscapey colours. I found that in the pictures I've been doing recently, these are the colours I've just I've tended to go to. And if I want brighter colours. I'll just use my watercolours. Okay, and then there's this little front section here. And I've got a reusable kitchen towel, I think they're called. I've got my paint palette here. I'll look at these in a minute. So yeah, this is the same paint palette that I put together um, a couple of weeks ago now. I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I've changed is I've taken out Snellier Lemon Yellow 
because of all the Snellier ones, it was the one I was having, having the most trouble with, with being too runny. And you can see it kind of leaked into these other colours. So I've pinched my Windsor Lemon half pan, which was in my Portable Painter Micro. And the rest of them should all be okay now. And then I've got a little pocket here, which I'll cut everything out of. Okay. Hair bubble, because my hair is always getting in the way. Washi tape. I still like the idea of sectioning off um, bits of my sketchbook and doing mini sketches. And I really like the neat edges you get from that. Plus, I'm not taking the Brit stick, so if I get any tickets or anything I want to save or incorporate, then I'll just use the washi tape. A couple of lightweight clips that came with my Just Go Sketching set. Pencil sharpener. I've dispensed with the little jar that I'd put it in and I've just got a bag that I'm gonna use for sharpenings because it's, again, it's slimmer and lighter. Uh, rubber, I've also got these two little tiny rubbers which fit in the end of my pencil. That's good for big stuff, but if I'm just sketching, I find it easier just to switch around my pencil and use the end, the rubber in the end. Then I've got two brushes, two travel brushes. One is the Escoda Ultimo 10, which I'm really enjoying for washers and bigger, looser work. And then the silver black velvet number six, Voyage Round, which is a lovely all-rounder and I can get a good enough point with that. I'm happy with that one. There's another little pocket here. And I've just picked out a few color pencils. And I've got a black wing, a Uniball Air Micro, that one's waterproof for doing sketches my Uni Posca White PC1MR, my Pentel P205, 5mm, and I've put a load more LEDs in there this morning. So this is the one that um, the little erasers go in the end of. I've got a ruler. I'm not, I think I'm going to take that out actually. I'm not convinced I need that. And then I've got just a few Caran d'Ache pencils. These are the ones that I've been using um, kind of repeatedly when I've done landscape drawings. And then this is Holbein Artist Colour Pencil in Soft White. So I, th I thought what I'd do, oh, and all of this together, uh, not including the water, all of this together weighs pretty much one kilogram on the nose. And for my own for my own sake, really, just to flick back and look at, I'm just gonna swatch out the things I've got in my travel kit in the front of my sketchbook. Whoops. I've got very yellow looking titanium white. That's because of the lemon yellow that was next to it. That's good, but at least I'm cleaning it out a bit now. And this is the Windsor Lemon. And I know from doing my, working out my limited palette of six, that it's a, that it's a good mixer. So I'm, I'm happy to have that in there. That's my Quinacridone Deep Gold. Might as well wash these out a bit. I'll write the names in after when they've dried. This is Daniel Smith's 
quinacridone rose such a good warm red for mixing i'm kind of aware that i'm repeating myself a lot if you've seen my previous videos so sorry about that And this is Holbein's Bright Rose. I've just realised I, I was going to swatch these out in the right order because I put these two rows in and then just added these after. But Really, I should have inserted some of these colours in this top row. Never mind. This is Daniel Smith's Verdita. Snellier's Thalocyanine Turquoise, which ha I haven't had trouble with running around inside the palette. And this is Snellier's Turquoise Green. And again, that hasn't been runny at all. That's Holbein's Leaf Green. Daniel Smith's Undersea Green. That's A Gallo's Dark Forest. It's Daniel Smith's Payne's Grey. This is the gorgeous A Gallows Noturno. A Gallo's Chromite Brown. And this is Daniel Smith's a lovely granulating, environmentally friendly brown iron oxide. Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet. And this is, I think this is Schminker's Maple's Yellowish Red. And the last one is A Gallows Buff Titanium. I'll let those dry and put the names on and show you those at the end. But I'll, I'll just show you the neo. <laughs> the neo colours that I picked. I've written the names out so I'll just do a quick swatch. Golden ochre. Russet. Cinnamon. Burnt sienna. Van Dyke Brown. I'm kind of surprised that I've got, I mean I'm not, but it's funny that I've got so many browns, which is probably my least favourite colour. But I'm kind of glad that I have done, been practising my landscapes so that I know what I actually use. Okay, 
beige, super useful colour. Silver grey, light cobalt blue here, light blue, ultramarine, the wonderful olive and the wonderful chromium oxide green. I just love the Caran d'Ache. Um, Neo colour two greens, I think they're great. And then light olive. I'm not sure I've got a swatch space for this really. But I've got the Neo colour one in white so that I can use it as a wax resist if I want to put, I don't know, I guess snow highlights or details on mountains or something and leave them white. Whoops, I've done these a bit close together. That will make them a bit smaller. No. And then I'll put a bit of Payne's grey over so you can see how nicely the Neo Colour one shows up as a resist. And then my few little luminance pencils. I tried to pick colours that weren't exact replicas for the Neo Colour 2s. Green and olive brown. The dark phthalo green. And I've got sepia, but it's kind of in between the Van Dyke brown and the, se the sepia here. It's a slightly more purpley sepia. Black. Payne's Grey and Payne's Grey 30%. So again, all of my least favourite colours in real life, brown and green. And then the soft white. And I've just written down the other writing implements that I've got here. So there are my watercolours. Every time I use this set, I absolutely I fall in love with it all over again. I love it so much. I mixed and mixed and mixed with it, and I, I'm just so happy with the the good mixing colours that I've got. Also, I've got a, a couple of really interesting, more opaque colours. I think I've got three, well, four with French ultramarine. These three. And nice granulating colours. And then I've got convenience colours that are just really useful for me with, with the browns and, and the greens. So yeah, super happy with that.
And even in the last couple of weeks, actually, I've got more confident with using my watercolours. So I'm not as worried about not having colours in other media. This little water pot did quite well as well. I thought, because it's quite tapered, I thought it might be a bit wobbly. But that's, that's quite nice to use. So, sorry for boring you totally stupid with yet another travel kit type video. This should probably be the last one. I'm going in two days and haven't actually packed anything else yet. <laughs> um, I spent yesterday out on Coast Guard jobs and I'm not actually feeling very well today, so <laughs> it's getting interesting. And I've spent about a month getting my art kit ready and probably about 10 minutes tomorrow packing all my clothes and toiletries and other provisions. And then just to show you packing all the way. It's quite nice actually, this bag is kind of, because it's to protect a tablet. It's kind of got this nice like furry padded case. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hopefully see you again. Bye.